Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Sagittarius. Oh my god, the card's falling out. I don't like that when they fall out because you have to go grab them and it becomes kind of annoying. Um, but anyways, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. By the way, this will not resonate for every Sagittarius. If you like a sound healing session, tarot class, or a personal reading, all that's going to be in the description down below and you can also find a bunch of other things there as well. Let's see what we have for you. We have a Knight of Cups. We have someone here in their feelings. Is that you or is that someone towards you? Page of Wands. Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles. I don't know if you have two people coming your way. It could be a water sign and a fire sign. Sagittarius. Both seem a bit young here because we have a knight and a page, so that means that they haven't really reached the maturity of a king or a queen, right? We have a three of wands, but I also feel like you're trying to create something in your future. You're not really focusing on these people. You just have them in their feelings trying to come towards you, trying to make offers towards you here. And I feel like it's two people. I feel like it's water and fire, Sagittarius, but I feel like you're just not focused on any of this. You're focused on your future. Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's something that's called your interest. Six of Wands, it's victory, it's success. This is what you call your interest, is success. Public recognition. Financial success here. I already do feel like you are a successful person, Sagittarius. But I feel like you're creating more success for yourself. You have a Death card. There may be some things that you may need to release or let go of. Sagittarius. So you can move into new territories, the Fool. Alright. You need to release things that feel toxic or heavy to you. Sagittarius. We have the Six of Swords. You're shifting towards change. The Star. This is Aquarius. I don't know if you have Aquarius placement somewhere in your chart, Sagittarius. But I feel like you're putting vibrations out in the universe of what you want, of what you're trying to manifest, which I feel like, like I said, I feel like that's success. You're trying to move into success. All right? Sagittarius. Ooh. Ace of Swords. Something's fell out. Three of Swords. I feel like there may be some things or some people here that you may need to cut out. Sagittarius. Cut off. The world. I also feel like you have a deep connection with the earth. Ace of Pentacles, there's a treasure. Ace of Wands, new beginning. Seven of Cups, alright, so you're at a position, Sagittarius, where you can choose any direction that you want to go. You have a lot of new opportunities being presented to you, a lot of pathways, and it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Alright, Sagittarius, I feel like there's... All ways are open to you. You understand that, Sagittarius? I do feel like you do have some treasures here. This be knowledge, or it's actually material. There is treasure. All right. So one thing I want to grab the deck real quick. Hold on. All right, I grabbed it. So let's see. What else do we have? We have number 22 with the Holy Child, Star Seed. I'm a divine child of the universe. This is you, Sagittarius. You are a star seed. All right, that's why the star card is popping up. You are a star seed, and you are a very important person in this universe. All right, you have an important mission here on Earth. You understand that? You're like very special, very important, not like ordinary people. Now, I'm going to read to you more about this card so that people that don't really know much about what that is, what a star seed is, can find out more. It says, Elevate Starry Eyed Assignment. You are a celestial child of the cosmos with a dedicated dual mission to elevate your own spiritual awareness as well as the collective consciousness. You are an ancient soul with a divine calling to awaken humanity for the highest good. Know that your noble assessment or assignment, is divinely guided by the Sisters of the Pleiades. It says, This helps you realize that you are a holy child 
destined to be a channel of light and love. Irrespective of your childhood, and recognize that you are an expression of divinity and a leading light in the world. All right, Sagittarius. So, let me grab another deck. Since we're talking about light. All right. Let's see. Number two with second ray of wisdom. Sagittarius, look at this. You have an angel around you. But you're being blessed with the ray of wisdom. Sagittarius, this is his treasure. It's wisdom. It's knowledge. All right? You're a holy child here. You're very special. You're very important. You're stars. You come from the stars. You come from the cosmos. Sagittarius, you have an important mission here on Earth. All right? Maybe that's even part of your goal here. Maybe that's why you want to be successful. Maybe that's why you want, like, um... I feel like you want a following, Sagittarius, but that is to awaken others. You want to awaken the planet. It's not for selfishness, like most people would think. It is for a purpose, and you're being guided towards that. All right? So look at this. Two, two, two. I seen this earlier today. You have two, the second ray of wisdom, and then we have 22 with the holy child. All right? So let's look at number two. The second ray of wisdom is a conscious, consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom, the spiritual masters, known as the Buddha, is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light from the universe. The second ray of wisdom is the energy of the open and loving heart of the universe. It is inclusive, drawing all things towards it with an invisible magnetism. It is gifted to you at this time to help you attract into your life the people, opportunities, and teachings that will help you succeed in your life mission. This ray will help you focus your consciousness in your heart. It will bring to consciousness any unresolved matters of the heart for healing. This includes only or not only issues in the relationship, but also any issues around trusting your heart to lead you. This ray will help you heal your heart in an affirming and nurturing way. The challenge with this ray, given that it is so magnetic and attractive, is learning to discern and when to say no when you need to. All right. Being able to trust in future abundance is important. You will not hold on not need to hold on to every opportunity, person, or situation out of fear of loss or lack. Sagittarius. So the card's kind of falling. Um, it says, instead, you are learning to live in true abundance and flow. Practice feeling comfortable in letting go as well as receiving. Why did I lose where I was reading? Oh, trust <laughs> that the universe has all that you want and need in unlimited supply. Universe will truly provide for you, dear child of life. This is a very different way of thinking to how most humans are conditioned from an early age. But it's never too late to change one's mind and open one's heart to a more loving, abundant, and enjoyable way to live. When the Buddha comes into your world, he brings the gift of wisdom. That includes openness to all that is without judgment. This might be the struggle that will eventually be revealed as a blessing in disguise might be the challenge that causes you to grow in readiness for the next phase of your divine life mission. Finally, as a second ray of wisdom relates particularly to teachers in education, you are encouraged to trust that you have a message to share that is helpful and educational for others. Whether your involvement in education and teaching is formal or less obvious, you are encouraged to honor the energy of the teacher in your life. In some way, your sole purpose likely involves helping others to learn through wisdom and love, and here's an invocation. I now accept of my own free will the blessing and grace of the second ray of wisdom in my life. 
through unconditional love and divine mercy. I open my heart with joy to the magnetic and creative field of attraction. I gratefully open up to abundance in all ways, with trust, wisdom, and serenity. The universe provides all that I want and need with grace, love, and perfect timing. Thank you, universe. I call on the love and assistance of the genuine ascended master known as Buddha in all aspects of this process so that all beings can receive the loving benefit of the spiritual gift according to the divine compassion through grace. So be it. All right. So, Sagittarius, that is a message for you. It is only have for you. And I will see you later.